We're gonna test some lines from Haku. I will use these two, it's from Roloff. I will put a link in the descriptions. Let's see. I'm really happy from the result. Without any stretching, these lines are quite equal. You can see. I'm pulling these two towards me, and you will see they're absolutely perfect. You can see they're absolutely equal, but now I'm gonna torture these lines. Let's do a static test. Whoops! See what happened. The end stitch broke right here. The stitch is not sealed. And unfortunately we have a small... Oh no, it's not small, it's, we have difference. We have difference and this have to be fixed, but let's stretch them. I feel that on the left side it's stretching more, stretching more. But you know what? These lines are very good. These lines are actually built by Lears. It's a German, German company. And I feel them very good around the zero point. I mean, I just tension them and I feel very good feedback I feel very good feedback from these lines I will fix them very quickly by simply making a knot here and you know what I'm not afraid to make a knot just here on many of my lines I have knots here without absolutely any problem if we had the bad thing is that we cannot fix the length, we can only do knots. So with one knot, with one knot we have equal lines. A uh, few millimeters off but they are quite good right now. Some dynamic stretching. I broke the line! Damn! I broke the line! Come to see what happened on the other side. Oh no, it's here! Oh shit! This line breaks so easily. Wow! I mean... This line is 50 kp, 50 kp, you know, and I tension it around 3 or 5 kp, something like this, one tenth of the, on the strength of this line, maybe it's defective, and you know what, I have done this many many times with my leaders lines, and I never had any problem, and I have many running knots just to fix the length, this is the running knot, absolutely simple running knot without any sleeve, doesn't break Lero's line, but unfortunately on the first set we have break. It's on on the edge, here, the line break right here. The stitches should finish here. I will put the other two lines for first time. Let's see. I think they have just a little bit of difference. They look quite good, almost the same length. But you know what? I'm afraid to pull them apart. Because as you can see, the stitches continue up to here. I cannot believe. In normal flying condition, we tension the lines. Like this. I mean, I pull not very hard, and I felt that something stretched. 
Look, look at my hand. Scheiße. You know, unfortunately, I broke these lines. I broke both sides and I cannot use them. The material is quite good. It's built by Lyros and it seems to be very similar to the DS40 lines but they are not stitched correctly unfortunately I hope HQ will soon fix this problem I have another two sets with me and I will open them just to see how they are stitched okay as you can see it's the same thing absolutely the same thing the stitch continue there they are stitched up to here and by the way there's a little bit of core leak just a little bit which which is absolutely normal with all leaders and all covered lines there's just a little bit of cover leak I hope HQ soon we will fix this problem with these lines. The material is great but unfortunately not so good stitch. Whatever. We have one other lines here. Signs are also from Lero stitched. The same way. They look absolutely amazing by the way. They are super smooth, very nice coating. I think these lines, this mat this material is absolutely amazing. Seems to be absolutely amazing. 100 kmp to be great for uh, team kiting for big kites uh, they don't look very bulky i can compare them with laser pro gold 68 there this is my other lines okay these are thicker maybe like laser pro gold ni uh, 90 I don't have them with me to compare them but yeah I guess this material is great uh, we have blend lines here we have another these are these are with knots I will test I will test these lines I will test also these lines but here we have the Liros logo and stitched lines very nice color, but let's see how they are stitched. The sewing. And you know what? They are too tight. You can see how the lines are distorted. I never, never do this wrap two times, which is something like uh, 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 overstretch them, you know? Uh. Okay, I never do this. I just simply remove this running knot. Please give me some time. I will show you the alternative way, which is simply nicely like this. Much more easier. Just on one side, or maybe on both sides. If you have any of these lines, make a knot on each side. It will definitely improve the shear resistance. After breaking these lines, I test some other lines completely new with a knot. In a real life situation, they may be good. They work fine. I will not recommend them for heavy kites, for strong wind. For more updated information, please check the description. There are a few more videos to come, so don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if you want to see more detailed information about these lines. Also check kitebeget.com, kitebeget.com.